Hello, my name is Vince Cerf. I'm Vice President and Chief Internet Evangelist at Google, and it's a lovely opportunity to speak to the Interglobix audience. Uh, the article that you're reading was, was written some time ago, uh, looking forward to 2025, and we're right in uh, June now as I make this recording. A lot has happened uh, in the last uh, five or so months of 2025. I wrote uh, about uh, things like rapid response computing, edge computing, but I have to say there's another interpretation of that, and that's using quantum computing in order to give nearly real-time optimization results. Those of you who have ever used spreadsheets will know what it's like to be able to explore uh, the answers to complex questions by literally exploring solution space. I think quantum computing, when it becomes available uh, in serious quantity, will allow us to explore really hard problem solutions literally in real time. So that will be very exciting. The second thing I would observe is that we're deeply dependent now on computing capability in many different ways, on devices at the edges of the net, in the core of the data centers, uh, in the uh, distribution networks. Uh, we need CPU cycles and GPU cycles and TPU cycles and someday QPU cycles, very literally everywhere. It has to be reliable, it has to be safe, and it has to be secure. These are not trivial uh, targets to meet, so that's a big challenge. Accountability is also a big challenge because as we start using these highly complex artificial intelligence agents and other elements of that kind, there's a question about who's accountable when things don't go as planned. That's going to be a big issue. Standards will also be super important for interoperability among these various complex software artifacts. AI agents, I've just mentioned, uh, there's a lot of attention being paid to how they interact with each other, how they interact with human beings. How do we assure provenance of the data that they use? How do we assure that we know which agent did what in, if, in the event that something doesn't go quite right? All of that is, in a sense, still to be developed. And finally, uh, I think that we are all challenged by the background problem of uh, climate change and how can we use the tools that we uh, can now make available to help us solve that ultimate problem, which has a great deal to do with the survival of the society that we live in today. So I hope you uh, find a great deal of interest in uh, reading all of the articles of this most recent edition of the Interglobix magazine. I'm sorry I can't meet with you in person, but see you on the net.